I'm Zoe and this is Ryan and we're from the Canberra Environment Centre. Today we're going to be talking about keeping a worm farm in Canberra. Worm farms are a great way to produce natural fertiliser for your garden. They're also a fantastic place to dispose of your food scraps rather than sending them to landfill where they don't belong. Worm farms produce two types of fertilisers. They produce a liquid known as worm wee that can be diluted and put on your garden as a fertiliser. And they also produce a solid fertiliser which is like a compost, it's known as worm castings and you can spread that on top of your soil to make your garden even richer and more successful. One of the other great things about worm farms is that they can be kept in the smallest of spaces. Inside the worm farm, over the top layer, we have a hessian blanket and that's to make sure that moisture is retained in the soil to keep the worms happy. There are lots of different things that you can feed your worm farm. Fresh fruit and vegetable scraps are the main thing that a worm farm likes. Chop the scraps up nice and small so that the worms can eat it more quickly and efficiently. Worms like a diversity of food, just like us, so make sure you feed them lots of different things. There are some foods that you'll want to avoid feeding your worms though, and these are onions, garlic and citrus. That's because these foods are quite acidic and the worms can't digest them. There are a few things that your worm farm can only cope with a small amount of. This includes meat, cooked food, dairy and bread. A small amount, like a few crumbs or the scraping of a plate is fine, but don't overload your worm farm with this as it won't stop functioning properly. Your worms will also need a source of carbon to eat, so we'll add some shredded paper and some ripped up cardboard in there with the food. Worm farms will require a little bit of attention over time and there's a few things you'll need to check. If your worm farm is too smelly or the worms aren't eating the food that you've put on top, it could be that there's certain foods in there that they don't like and the food could be getting mouldy and that's where the smell's coming from. Nice way to try and solve this is to remove the food that's in there and to start again with a smaller amount. Your worm farm might attract insects and flies sometimes. If you're finding that this is a problem, add a layer of carbon materials on top. That's the shredded paper, the dry leaves or the straw and that'll help limit the ability of the flies to get into the worm farm. Another thing you can do is bury the food scraps underneath the bedding material so that the flies can't get to it. Another reason your worm farm might be smelling is that the liquid reservoir underneath where you collect the worm where you could be full. So make sure you empty that out on a regular basis and dilute it to feed to your plants. Worm farms can get too hot, especially in summer in Canberra. Make sure that in summer your worm farm is in a cool shady area. This might be underneath uh, the side of the house where it's shady. You can also keep it in a carport or a garage or even in your bathroom if you have space. That's right, worms like a similar temperature range to us. So when it gets really cold in winter, you want to keep them in a warm place, whether that does be inside or in a sunny spot in your yard. You can even wrap them up in a blanket. With a little bit of care and practice, a worm farm can be a really rewarding addition to a garden or backyard of any size. Head to our website, canberraenvironment.org, for more resources on worm farming and a whole range of other things to help you with a more sustainable garden.